Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing constructing line plots. This is a math drills worksheet. Uh, there's a link in the description below if you want a, a link to the worksheet itself or want to check out math drills, great website. Make sure to check it out. But here we're asked to construct a line plot from the data set, then answer the question. So here's the data set. You'll notice that it's all unorganized. It just kind of goes in this random order and we're asked to put it on a uh, line plot. So the first thing we need is we need a line plot. It gives you space for that. You'll notice that I already made it and I started from 15. I went all the way to 30. Why did I do that? Well, I noticed that the smallest number I could find was 16. So here's a 16. That was the smallest number I could find. So I found a couple of those and I didn't see any number bigger than 30. So I said, you know what, I'll just go 15 to 30. But really, I think I could have stopped at 26. I think 26 is the biggest number. Regardless, there's my line plot. I just wanted to make it nice and neat up by fives. Okay, so that's what your starting point should look like. Something like that. If you want to label every unit, that's fine too. Okay, so what we do with a line plot, what we need to do is we need to count how many times we see each one of these data points. So I need to make sure I count every single 16. One, two, uh, I found another one right here. Three, four, five. So it looks like I have five um, 16s. So what I'm going to do now is I'm simply just going to make some marks. And you can do a dot. Okay, you can do a dot like this. Or if you want, you can do X's. So just for this, I think it's going to be quicker. I'm going to do X's. So I have five X's on the 16. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have those 16's are done. We got all the six. Oh, no, we don't. I found another one. And you guys probably saw it. And I'm out here kind of looking dumb because I didn't see it, but I found it. All right, so now we have six 16s. Now, what does this uh, dot plot, line plot represent? Well, it could represent a lot of things. It could represent, like, maybe they surveyed people's ages, and these are all the ages they found. Maybe it was, like, at a college or out at a movie theater or something, and they interviewed these people. Well, if they're 16 years old at a college. But regardless, okay, so this could represent people's ages. could represent a lot of things, but this is our data set, and we're just trying to organize it. So here's 16. We don't need to write 16. I'm just showing you that we have six dots for 16. Now moving on to 17. I'm just going to move on to the next number. So we have 17. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven for 17. So I need to make, and I want to make sure it's lined up, okay? And what do I mean by that is like, let's say, for example, I'm doing 15 and I have eight for that. I don't want my eight to like go up this high and the 16 only has six and it goes up higher than the eight. It should be lined up so you can clearly see that that's six, that's five, that's four, that's three, that's two, that's one, okay? So don't have it all over the place. You need to have it lined up, okay? So that's 17, where you got seven of those. Now we're on to 18, one, two, three, four, five, and it looks like that's it. So again, I'm gonna go over here. I didn't mean to change color. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, making sure it's lined up with the one to the left. Okay, so that's 18. Now I'm going on to 19. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to go this step, one, two, for each one of these, three, four. Okay, I'm just going to try to do this quickly. One, two, three, four. Okay, 20, one, two, three. Okay, and the good thing too about this is if you miss one, like let's say you're like, oh man, I just saw this 19 or oh, I just saw a 17, you can just add it. So that's the good thing about this. You can just add it later if you discover uh, one, two, three for 21, four, five, six. You can just add it later if you find it. So that was six for 21, two, three, four, five five, six. So this one needs to be as tall as my 16. Okay. Then we have 22. Um, I'm not seeing any 22. So that's kind of good. And then we have a 123 there. That's it. So only 123. 22 is empty. There's 23. There's just one. 24. I have a couple, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. So again, with the six, with the 24, one, two, three, and you see that that's what I'm talking about. I got a little behind and needs to follow the same height four, five, six, because this needed to match up with that height. 25. Did I, oh, I think I missed one. I missed this one right here. 
So that'd be seven. Okay. Seven right here it needs to be up there. One. I'm just going to double check that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Okay. Twenty-five. One, two. Okay. Just two. And then 26 is all the rest. One, two, three, four. Okay, so four. One, two, three, four. So there's my uh, dot plot. My line plot's all done. And that's what it will look like when you're all set and squared away. Whoops, I thought that there was an eraser. All right. Now it's asking to determine the minimum value, maximum value, and range of the data. Minimum's easy. So with min, you're just looking for the smallest number. Now, I wrote 15 on my number line, but there was no 15 on there. Keep that in mind. So the smallest number was 16. So min is 16. That's my smallest number. And max is my biggest number. So my biggest number, again, not the number line there. It's not that. Okay. Instead, it is my biggest number here in the data, and that's 26. How do I find my range? My range is simply my max minus my min. Okay, this tells you the number of uh, the values uh, that the data spans. Like, it, what's its smallest to biggest amount? How many numbers does it go through? And it's 10, 10 different numbers it goes through. Okay, so that is my range. All right, now let's move on. So my range was 10. So now let's move on to these other ones. Determine the count, median, mode, and mean of the data. This is how you basically how you interpret the data. Yes, we know all this data exists, but let's interpret it. Let's use this data to to for statistical purpose. To there's all different kinds of reasons you could use the data. Okay, count count just means how many numbers are there. Okay, count is the number of numbers that you have, the amount of data. Okay, so here I have one, two, three, four rows plus one left over, and we have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's eleven times four plus one. That is forty-five. That is just a quick way uh, how to use some math to figure out how many numbers I have instead of just counting all of them uh, one by one. So I have my count is forty-five. Now my mean. This is where I add the data. So I'm going to find the sum. That means when I add, and then I'm going to divide. Okay, I'm going to write it differently. I'm going to write sum divided by the count. Okay, so my sum, that means I need to add all these numbers up, and that's going to take me a while. Okay, but I add all those numbers up, and then I'm going to divide by the total count. Okay, so I'm actually going to come back to that one. I don't want to spend my time just uh, on camera adding all these numbers up. I kind of did the same thing here, but I don't want to make it too long. So I'll come back to that one. Median. The median is when we have to line all these numbers up and then find the middle number. Now, we can do the median, though, from a dot plot. You're like, oh, my gosh. You mean I have to rewrite all these numbers? There's a way to do it from the dot plot, okay? And the way to do it is like this. We can, and you can either cross off, or in this case, I'm going to highlight. I'm going to highlight one from the, uh, the smallest number and then one from the biggest number. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I arrive at my middle number. Okay, so then I go to the next column. Okay, and obviously now I'm to the next smallest number. Okay, and I keep going until I reach the middle. Median essentially just means middle, but you have to rank the numbers first. And you have to make sure as you're doing this method that you're alternating left to right. Okay, I'm pretty sure I haven't messed up yet, um, but we'll find out. Okay. And then we arrive on 20. So 20 is our medium, median, sorry, not medium, because that was the value that's in the middle after we put them in order. We did put them in order, left to right, smallest to biggest. And then 20 is our middle number, our median. So biggest over here. Okay. And then we just keep crossing them off. Or in this case, I highlighted them to get to my median, which is 20. So our mode, our mode is the number that we see the most. Okay, in this case, I think we had two. We had seven here for 16. No, that's 17, isn't it? And then how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then there was 24. So 24 and 16 appeared the most. So we have two modes, 17 and 
24. Okay, so that's our mode. Now, coming back to the mean again, what we do is we would add all these numbers up together. Okay, and then we would divide by 45 when we're done. Okay, so we would divide by 45 because that's our count. We divide by the number that are there. Okay, here's my little answer key. So the mean is 20.3 when you do that. Okay, so let me kind of go in reverse here. If I have 20.3, okay, that means 20.3. Oh, that's probably rounded. So our, well, after I add it up and divided, we get 20.3. So I'm guessing we had 914 was the sum. Okay, 914 was the sum. It may be something different. You, let me know in the comments below. And we divide by our count, which is 45. You can use a calculator for this, and we get 20.3. Okay, so that's going to be our answer. And that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions on line plots, how to make them, how to find the mean, median, and mode, let me know in the comment section. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you right here on West Explains Best for next time. Thank you.